Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this quick tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how you can fix and find uh, n-guns and overlapping vertices which are not okay. So sometimes when we uh, model our uh, stuff uh, we get uh, this kind of uh, mess. And it is not okay for game engines or for any animation because uh, animation uh, software uh, cannot animate uh, angons uh, properly, and angons are are polygons which have more than four sides, so more than four vertices. Uh, so uh, how you can fix this and how you can find them on your model? So you select your model by clicking on it and then pressing four on the keyboard or just going down here and selecting polygon and going to selection and here we have angons when we click on it uh, it masks uh, or rather I should say it shows us all the polygons that have more than or less than uh, four vertices so it's going to also select uh, this kind of polygons, triangles uh, that have three uh, vertices, three sides of the polygon, but we can, uh, in theory, leave uh, triangles uh, as they are, although I prefer not to uh, have them at all. But if you need, uh, if you can't avoid having angons, it's better to have triangles than. Uh, Typical, uh, typical angles which are made out of more than four sides. So then, when you find uh, the polygons that are angles, you just go to vertex selection and right clicking on the canvas and selecting target weld, and you just weld the vertices uh, together. Just make sure you don't mess up uh, the overall look of the design uh, so we just want to get rid of uh, angons and not destroying the, the silhouette of your uh, design so the other issue is uh, when we cut uh, across our polygons uh, we sometimes don't cut uh, directly on the vertex let me just uh, show that going back to graphite modeling tools and selecting cut and just hovering over vertices makes this uh, cursor uh, react differently so we have we can see this is a default one we can uh, this shows that we are going to cut from the center and if we go hover over the edge it turns in this kind of one which says we're going to set the vertex directly on the edge and if we hover over the vertex it's going to change in something like that so we just click sometimes when uh, this is really close together we just don't uh, get it right so I just uh, intentionally did this uh, uh, the wrong way so we have these three vertices that are not really needed and sometimes when we have a lot of uh, vertices this cannot be as easily seen as it is here uh, because sometimes even the vertices are really uh, uh, overlapping like something like this so you, you, you can't see if there are more than one uh, vertices either if you select them and then just uh, go down and see that you have three vertices selected although it seems like you have only one but just to uh, select all the vertices by itself and just checking if there are more than one uh, it's really time consuming so you can uh, quickly uh, see if you have any vertex overlapping vertices overlapping just going up here to views and X view and select overlapping vertices. Now this opens uh, below 
and if you uh, click on click here to update you can see it selects uh, it shows you how many vertices are so f so close together that it the uh, software recognize them as they are uh, overlapping so you can com configure this uh, uh, overlapping tolerance here clicking on click here to configure and you can set the tolerance uh, distance because sometimes you want to have uh, vertices really close together but not but not uh, totally overlapping uh, one uh, on the other so you can set this tolerance distance here if you don't have this click here to update uh, available you just right click on configure no on overlapping uh, vertices and you should uncheck this auto update so you can click here to update and uh, how you can fix these overlapping vertices is by selecting them all uh, pressing ctrl a on the keyboard having the vertices uh, selected and then just going to weld under edit vertices and click here on the settings and you just uh, you just set the value that you want to be used to to join the vertices that are overlapping so we have let's say 0.1 meter no, 0.5 okay and when we are happy just click OK and click here to update and you can see we have no longer any vertices that are considered to be overlapping so this is it about Angons overlapping vertices how to find them and how to get rid of them so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, share this video uh, subscribe to my channel and till next time bye